Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigla here, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna try Sir Banshee versus uh, Sir Banshee. Not sure if Puppet will work, because she's also got the mechanic that kind of allows us to, or is that a different Sir Banshee? I think this is the crown swap, but I think this also offers uh, somewhat of a free special. No, it's only the thing that stuns. I think it's only, only stunning, that's the only thing, and I'm pretty sure we can disable her special. And I got my Sir Banshee finally with the 7 talent being lethal damage. So what you're looking at now is pretty much as good as you're gonna get your Sir Banshee. I mean, if you min-max everything, like let's say, oh, it's not good that you get the crit damage here. You could subtract like 3 crit damage talent, put one on the gear, then replace everything with crit chance type of deal. And do like 10 modifications to get one more attack roll and get it to 12,000. Maybe that's possible, but I'm fine. I consider my Sir Banshee maxed out at this point. And we get Harley and we get Mushroom Hunter. So the thing is that they, uh, I'm going to count on Harley to give me damage against stun target because we're gonna stun her a little bit. And uh, also, I'm gonna tag it in and out a bit at the start. So um, that's gonna help out with not getting stunned. Though this is not a 100% stun on Tagen type of deal, I think she has a 25% chance to stun you on Tagen. But we got Harley mainly for the damage against stun target, because as you will see in a second here, we're actually going to stun her quite a lot. I mean, not really in a second, but... Soon. Okay, we stunned her, that's good, that actually enabled me to also activate Puppet, so that's nice. Gonna spam my special a bit. Yeah, we got a level 9 and a level 1 uh, Kamidogu dagger. So we are very far from the amount of passive stats that I usually have on Sir Banshee. Or that you saw me one shot with. Bro, why didn't that crit? I was actually very curious to see how much we get on uh, that. Okay, so that's 16 mil. That's 22 mil. Bro, is Harley giving me any damage against stun target at that point? So, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's the... Um... Let's allow the, uh, special to set, uh, the, uh, negative effects to settle in a bit. Okay, 33 on that. Now let's see how much it is uh, on a non-stun tree disable. 25, so yeah, I'm... I, I think the Harley works here. Also allows me to press the stun a bit faster whenever she gets stunned. To press the third special, excuse me. Because I don't have to wait for her to get up. It's funny that the stun instantly gets them up. They can't be stunned on the ground. And I mean, yeah, because of how the game mechanics work, that would be quite annoying. Because she would be stunned, but you wouldn't be able to hit her while stunned, because you can't hit the enemies while they're on the ground. And yeah, this fight overall went as good as it could have, but we just don't have the passive stats, and Harley's passive honestly doesn't really make up for it. And I'm not even sure if she does more for me than a classic Wonder Woman would have done, actually, in terms of damage. So yeah, not really sure about my choices here, but I really wanted an excuse to uh, use her revenge because I got that lethal damage on her. Also used all my uh, artifact reforges that I got from League Invasions and failed to get any epic lethal damage on Puppet, so we're still running a one epic lethal damage and two rare ones. So definitely a lot of room for improvement there. Yeah, that's as far as this goes. What I'm curious to see is whenever a soul rate comes back where I have maxed out passive stats to see how easily I can do 2 billion damage with Sir Benji, because I managed to do it, but it's currently under very specific circumstances and uh, some luck involved that that happens. And uh, I'm curious to see if now without we get that lethal damage if it's going to be any easier to do that. Okay, so here we have Beast Boy with Puppets, and we got the passive stats previously mentioned. Level 9 Kamidogu Dagger and level 1 Kamidogu Dagger. Just want to kill her. This is not a fight that I want to deal with with multiple attempts, because uh, it, it can get annoying because of the mechanics. 
I think I'm just gonna sit in the fights until I get power. Don't wanna really tag out. And dropped her again. And there we go, we drop a special one. And now we can get going. Let me also drop a super move here. And a bit more combo, and there we go, we're at 40 hits currently. And this should be over quickly. Yeah, already 21 mil damage. Did you know that regardless of if you have hardy or not, you deal slightly more damage against stun targets for some reason? It's a very small amount, almost unnoticeable, but when you get values this big, it, it, it starts to be a bit noticeable. Might be like 1 mil even. Let's take a look at the rewards we got. And we got... Oh, we got actually a... Uh... A sorry specific artifact. What's this? When health drops below 11%, next successful special heals 12% and decreases the opponent's damage. Or okay, okay. Effect cooldown. If wearer is defeated during a cooldown, the wearer revives once per battle. I don't know this. I, I don't know about this, like, it's the best it could be is annoying to fight when you're against the defensive team in League Invasions, if that will even work in League Invasions. But other than that, I don't know about this. But definitely not my choice of artifact if I was to drop one. But let's move on. Okay, so I got a few comments on yesterday's video that I should actually use Crown Batman on the Drowns with Robin King if I want... Uh more damage than the Kamidogu dagger, so let's see how fast we can kill this. This is going to be crit resistance, though it's not that big of a deal because Robin King removes it anyway. Like, I, I want to point out that there's a lot of things that are different in this fight to yesterday's fight, but they don't matter because they are kind of uh, taken care of by the passives of Batman Drought and Robin King. So it's like we're fighting a fight with no passives for the most part. Except for the fact that it's free. Bro, let me hit you. Come on, man. Okay, we got infinite power going. And we're gonna soon get the blind going so this thing can stop annoying me. Boy, I hate so much reverse flash characters. Also, last time I used Batman and Drown with Crown, I kind of forgot to stack past the 10 stacks you get from Super Move. Also, I should stop playing Batman and the Drown. So, I mean, it didn't really impact the fight, but I should stop playing her as if um, we got uh, block disabled, because we don't. First I want to activate the uh, passive and then BAM we get um, Okay, okay, okay. This is this is going pretty good. It's actually going pretty good. We almost got him. Okay, okay, one minute and twenty-five seconds. Let me let me check how much time there was um, on yesterday's video. Yeah, this was indeed like 10 seconds faster, might have been 15 seconds if we fought a normal human being, not reverse flash, and uh, he actually didn't do some annoying stuff. So yeah, I would say they're just about that strong, but yeah, this is, this is better, because you don't really have to know how to play the game that well, you don't have to combo and drop, it's gonna be annoying at the start to get the first activation started. But once you get that done, you're gonna be fine. Also, you're gonna have an easier time losing Poppet here because you don't have the negative effect from God Killer, but again, you should be fine. So I would say they are as strong, but that's a bit of a cope. This one might be slightly stronger. Okay, 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 you win, you win, my bad. 
I mean, so somebody in the comments was yesterday was like, Sakeval, why don't you use uh, Brayden with the Raven and Scorpion with the Norse Snow Globe bug activated on Scorpion? I mean, we might as well do it anyway, but there's no point in this because I can use Raiden plus Raven without Scorpion, or I can use uh, Raiden plus Scorpion without Raven, and uh, we're gonna be fine in both situations. But uh, I guess we could do that. It's probably gonna be a lot of damage, and it's gonna take a long time, it seems, to get killed here, to get a clone in there. Come on, Black Adam, you can do it. Oh, that's awful, man. That's awful. Come on, kill me faster. I got no gears on. Okay, we got the clone summoned. Might have messed that up because I should have tagged Raiden, Raiden right in. No, it's fine. We activated the bug successfully. But yeah, my brain did a malfunction there. It was like, yeah, we did third special with Scorpion. Now we do jump attack before we tag Raiden. And this is obviously going to be a ton of damage as soon as I tag Raiden in, but it's unnecessary damage. Yeah, this guy is just gonna start melting. Might as well super move, why not? But again, there's not much of a point in actually doing this. There we go. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we got the EPI with Dark Metal cards. No longer have Harley. He's been uh, used for the uh, first fight of the video, actually. I'm gonna try to activate Puppet without access to special one. Not a big deal, but it really messes up with our already messed up chances of getting a free special from the second special. If, if we get a free special two, uh, a free special one, excuse me, it's it's not gonna be anything basically. Okay, tag Zatanna. Also, I need to be careful not to get power drained by this man, because that messes up all the progress I've made. Oh, look at that! We got a free special one, boys! Oh, this dude power drains me through block. Forget about that. I mean, you can jump over it and you no longer get power drains, but... That's... Is sadly not what I did there. Okay, we got infinite power. It's gonna... It's gonna stay. Okay, it wasn't that bad, actually. Might as well super move here. Keep pushing him. I mean, he's eventually gonna have his own super move, but as long as we keep pop attack, active, we should be fine as far as damage is concerned. Keep pushing him. That was double wipe from the Tana. That was weird. Hmm. I think it's gonna push me to the corner here. Not much I can do. To the middle, excuse me. But we're fine. It's kinda no I missed I lost infinite power, it's fine. We probably can kill him just with the damage buff that we have. Bro, why does she not wanna do the swipes? So many times she just didn't want to finish the swipe. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we have uh, Lord Joker with Puppets, we got uh, Bat Ninja Batman with uh, Beta Club, and we got uh, Robin with the uh, 
Got me double dagger, so let's kill that stroke real quick. And after that, we move on to the secondary account. Yeah, I'm gonna start playing, hopefully, on every single video on the secondary account, too, because why, why not? It's there anyway, and if you guys want to watch only the main account, you can just stop. Before the secondary counts. So it doesn't really hurt anybody. Might as well super move here. Okay, we got a jump attack on him. We still don't have a lot of uh, puppet stacks yet, but we're working on that. Bro, come on. Bro! Are you serious? There we go. 70 mil. There we go, 69 ml. Let's move on to the secondary account. On the secondary account, we're back to Sir Banshee. Boy, the secondary account is kind of keeping up with the main one. Somewhat. The main one will overtake it eventually and... Uh, the secondary one, not, not really a head start, but in terms of the tiers of bosses that were fighting, this one was like at tier 1 bosses when the other one was in tier 5, so now the main one is... Bro, chill, chill. It's trying to catch back a bit. <clears throat> I need to not mess this up. Okay, we got the infinite power. I'm gonna super move because I, I will not get to super move if I don't do it now. This should stun her so we get a few more hits in there. And now we sit on 38 hits because super move 1000% kills me. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this. Though compared to yesterday, it did get uh, a level higher in terms of Kami, uh, in terms of the Kami Dobu dagger, it's now at level six. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Yep, still far away from killing her. Maybe if I, uh, I mean, not against this fight, obviously, because uh, he she would have stunned me. But maybe if I use Black Adam instead of uh, Manta and get that percentage health damage in there too, we might be able to one shot even with this amount of passive stats. But that's a question for another fight. Now, okay, so you have uh, Lord Joker. Robin. We got Robin and we got Grodd's just for applying the negative effects more simply. We don't need to go full damage with Classic One Roman here, because I definitely do have the damage to kill her. I'm just going for ease of puppet activation. Rock chill. Okay. Oh, I missed the negative effect. It's fine. It will still be at the seconds special use. Or not. Okay, we got it. Gonna wait for his super move and then use mine. Okay, you can use yours. You got four stacks of attack reduction. Yeah, no way she did any damage to me there. And I'm just gonna skip ahead. Okay, this was actually a bit slower than I was expecting, but we're still gonna kill her with like 40 seconds left at least. Come on. Come on, he's got no HP. Kill her. There we go. He had to kill her with a kick. Let's take a look at the rewards we got. 
And we got... Oh wow, Captain Cold Amulet to take. That's that's next level garbage. Oh boys, I was terribly wrong. So hear me out. Uh, so yesterday when I did make the claim that uh, the Batman Drown Kamidoku Dagger is better, I played her on the secondary account, not on the main account. So I compared her to a main account fight, actually. So we're going to compare it to a secondary account fight. So it's the same Batman the Drowned. Not the same passive stats, because I got a Kamidoku Dagger one level up, and so when I looked at the video and told you when the fight was over, I was looking at the main account as well, so I basically compared the first time God Killer Batman the Drowned with Crown Batman the Drowned, and Crown Batman the Drowned was only slightly better. So now we're actually gonna compare Crown Batman the Drowned, indeed, with uh, Robin, King. Robin King with the, the fight I did yesterday. Uh, so the fight yesterday ended, uh, same Batman the Drowns, a bit less passive stats, and that's 0 0.45, so we're trying to get something better than that, hopefully. But yeah, this is gonna be the real comparison, my bad, I'm gonna pin a comment, hopefully people don't get too mad about it. Um, yeah, so, sorry for misleading you about the first fight, I, I forgot I did on the secondary account, I just realized. But we're doing it! But yeah, we already know from the main account comparison, because it was compared to the main account fights where I used yesterday the normal Robin King setup with... Oh, my bad, I didn't want to... I, I was undecided between if to press special one or third special I ended up pressing in between them so that kind of sucked but it's okay we didn't mess up too badly but yeah what we can tell from what I compared so far in the video is that crown is only slightly better than the um, god killer which is not great because god killer in the first place is supposed to be an artifact for convenience not for damage it's fine you can see for moving oh that did a bit more damage than I was expecting Okay, making sure we get all the um, negative effects. I really want Blind to be active while I attack Batman on the ground then. And I want to activate passive before doing any specials. We do a third special. And now we attack Robin back in. Because he needs to keep Pop it up. He needs to keep the Manic Appet Maniac Appetites up. And again, I'm not trying to play this badly in any way to, to prove I was right. I'm just playing this as, as good as I can. Really trying to get a better time than 145. Trying to keep the crit damage up there. That's when I'm back in. Yeah, we might get a slightly better time, but I also have a higher level... Um, Kamidoku Dagger. Though it doesn't really matter because I used the level 1 Kamidoku Dagger on another character in the different one. It's the same. It's the same. It's 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 literally kind of the same. Either you're using Crown or Kamidoku Dagger. Though, yeah, Crown is better. I'm gonna give you that because, again, this is still brainless gameplay. You don't have to combo and chop. You can use this against every single fight in, in the game. That was kind of wrong, I guess. But... They are kind of the same, okay? They are kind of doing the same damage. Uh, I'm curious with a lot lower passive stats, like if we had to fight that's 2 billion and I couldn't do 2 billion, what would do better? Like, both of them failed to one-shot, which one would do more damage? But yeah, let's move on. Okay, let's kill this with uh, League of Anarchy also. Same as I did on the main account, but the catch is now we have Harley. Oh, though, remember what I said? If we use Zatanna, EPI is, is definitely usable. If we use Girl of Steel Super Girl, EPI is going to be garbage. But if we use Zatanna, EPI is pretty good because she's going to have plenty of power to use that third special. And uh, we also get her to a higher level of class ascension here. 
And since this man is not crit immune, only crit resistant, that means he doesn't have lethal resistance because lethal resistance usually comes bundled with crit immunity. Or lethal immunity, excuse me. I think. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Even without lethals, I can kill this. Probably. You get Harley in there. I don't know why I started off with the Zatanna special, we shouldn't do that, we need to get, at first, get a lot of power generation. Bro, come on, why you don't wanna... Why you don't wanna finish in a swipe? Why is it happening so much today? Do the combo as I normally do it. The combo works normally all the way until the point where you need to do a swipe and my character's like, no, I will not do that. And I attack hard here instead of Zatanna. No, I'm, I'm so done with these fights. Bullshit happens, I make mistakes, I get angry. I make mistakes that are actually my fault. Come on, Zatanna. No, please, please give me infinite power. I'm begging you. Okay, we got it, but we might lose it. Uh, we might keep it. We we are actually gonna keep it, I think. Might as well super move here. Gonna keep pushing him to the corner. Though, actually, I probably should let him just super move me. So we can... Stop worrying that he's gonna... Oh, that was a lot of damage on that jump attack. And our damage tanked so much as soon as I, uh, I was out of the Dark Metal cards area. Okay, just keep pushing him. Just need to get his ass in the corner, come on. Okay, take out again. That was amazing. Oh, you're all right. Never mess with a magic. Oh, you're all right. That was amazing. Don't mess with mother nature. A whoop. A whoop. There we go. Let's move on to the next fight. And for the last fight, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, raid and raven action against Black Adam. Since I have Classic Wonder Man, this should go pretty fast, hopefully. Begin. Okay, just to cap closing there. Shot again. Super move. Raven back in, bro. I messed up. I shouldn't have super moved. Uh, I, I lost all the darkness. It's fine. It's fine. We're still gonna kill him. But I really messed up with that raid with that raid and super move. Get Raven in there.
probably two more Kagans is gonna take. Kinda weird combo there, didn't end in the best way. So I had to back off, but it went well overall. Come on, Raiden. Let's kill him. Bro! doesn't want to swipe, just doesn't want to finish the combo and swipe for some reason. It's fine though. This took way longer than it should have. And part of it was indeed my fault, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching, like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!